Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel, Dark and Creepy. All stories are written and narrated by me, MC Allen. Never play this game. If you do, you will surely not recover from the somewhat irreversible effects that I'm still dealing with after trying it two months ago, before the quarantine. Luskis Lucy is here with me. Even as I write this, I can feel her presence watching my every move. And I can't take it anymore. Everywhere I go, I see her in the corner of my eye, but when I look, she's gone. I should have not listened to my friends when they kept calling me a chicken, because I didn't want to play a scary game that originates from our high school. The background story of the game that I heard was that a girl named Lucy was invited to a house party, but not because she was popular, but rather to be made fun of. There were two girls who invited her over so they could play a prank on her. So when Lucy came over, they grabbed her, tied her to a spinning chair, which they then spun around while they sprayed whipped cream and silly string all over her. Lucy begged for them to stop, but they spun her so fast and then quickly untied her so that she went flying off. She tried to regain balance, but was so turned around that she ended up stumbling into the edge of a countertop gouging out her left eye, which left her passed out and bleeding on the floor. Now she would have survived if the people at the party acted fast and took her straight to the hospital, but instead, the party goers worried about being in trouble from doing this, and some had scholarships to colleges that were on the line if the colleges found out about it. So they carried Lucy's passed out body into a car and drove over to where they found a rainwater drain pipe that went underneath the road. They shoved her body into it and drove off. Now after they did this, all of them ended up dying in a car crash on their way back to the party. This was the main summary of the police report from the witnesses that didn't go to hide her body and the evidence they found. Some say it was because they were all intoxicated at the time and so they lost control and crashed. Others, like me, believe that Luskis Lucy had something to do with it but nothing is for sure at this point. This story took place about 14 years ago, and some people from our high school since then made a game out of it, seeing if they can summon her restless spirit. They call her Luscus Lucy, because Luscus is a Latin word meaning a one-eyed person. I didn't find out about it until I was a freshman, but I never messed with it until two months ago. So what happened was that I was at a sleepover at my friend's house, and after playing Mario Kart and some other video games, we all wanted to play something a little more interesting. Hey guys, how about we play the game where you summon Luskis Lucy? Jerry asked, which caused everyone to quiet up. I wasn't particularly close to Jerry, but he was friends with my best friend Levi, so I knew him fairly well. Yeah, that could be fun, everyone said simultaneously except for me. You don't want to try it out, Zach? Levi asked with his eyebrows scrunched. I don't like to mess with those sorts of things. That's it, really. I replied while sitting up straight on the couch. You're just a chicken. Bok, 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 bok. Jerry yelled while flapping his arms, and he got the other two boys and Levi to join in. I got annoyed because they wouldn't stop until I agreed to play it with them, so I responded saying, Fine, I'll play. Just knock it off already. Great, Jerry said as he gathered up the supplies needed to supposedly summon her. He even bring some of them with him, as if he was expecting us to play the game at one point while we were here. There were five boys in all, and so we got everything ready to do it, and I still didn't have a good feeling about it and I wish I would have listened to my gut. The needed supplies is a small mirror, but not one that's too small that you can't write on it. Next is that you need something that is able to spin around and hold the mirror. Some people use chairs that spin. But the easiest way is to use a fidget spinner, but pop one of the sides off so the mirror is able to spin with it. We ended up using a fidget spinner because the chair was not too practical. Next, you have to go into the bathroom and turn the shower on as hot as you are able to get it. This is so the steam from the shower will cloud up your handheld mirror. Next, you must take three candles and surround them around your mirror, which is placed on the fidget spinner. If you're using a chair, you will place them on the ground surrounding the chair. You can either place the mirror on the floor or the countertop. 
if you're using the fidget spinner to hold the mirror. We chose to do it on the floor because the countertop was all cluttered up. So we followed all of the steps in preparation to summon Luskis Lucy. And when it came time to actually try it out, everyone was quiet. So who wants to try it out? Jerry asked as he looked at the group. Why don't you try it out? You brought most of the supplies for it, Levi told Jerry with his hands gesturing towards the bathroom. No, not me. How about we have Zack do it? Jerry responded defensively, as if he knew about what happens to you if you summon her. No, I don't even know how to do it. I replied quickly, trying not to be the one. Don't worry, I'll tell you how to do it, Jerry said as he put his hand on my shoulder. The rest of the group agreed, and I knew if I were to back down, they would just keep begging or mocking me until I gave in. So I agreed to do it. So they made me go into the bathroom, carrying a box of matches, as Jerry turned out the light and shut the door. He then said from the other side, Okay, what you want to do is light all three of the candles surrounding the mirror counterclockwise. I followed what he said, while the steam from the shower made me feel like I was in a sauna. Jerry then said, After you do that, you need to gently spin the mirror around, but not too much that it falls off of the fidget spinner. Then, while it's spinning, take your pointer finger and press it against the mirror so it will draw a complete circle with the steam. Next, stop the spinning and draw two dots in the middle of the circle. Say yes if you have done all these steps. I followed all the steps and even though the bathroom was filled with hot moist air, I could still feel a cold chill run down my spine as I replied, yes. Good. Now you need to spin the mirror again and watch the dots in the middle while you say the words, ha ha Lucy, three times. If you see what looks like a tear come from both of the dots, that means that it didn't work. But if you see that only one of the dots is crying, but not the other one, then that means you just summoned her. After hearing this, I hoped with all my heart that I would see both of the dots have water run from them, which makes it look like tears. I put my hand on the side of the mirror and began to spin it. I saw a spot of water slowly fall out of one of the dots, and another one from that same dot while I chanted the words, Ha ha Lucy, three times. Come on, I whispered to myself, hoping that the other would do the same. It did not, even if I tried to spin the mirror more aggressively, trying to get the drop of water out. That's when all of the candles went out simultaneously and I felt a cold tingle brush the side of my back. Freaking out, I kicked the mirror and the candles as I stumbled for the light and the door. I flipped the switch on as I ran out the door into the group of boys sitting outside. They all started laughing, except for Jerry, who stood with his arms crossed. Everyone in the group was cracking jokes at my expense, until they soon got entertained by taking turns daring each other to call the girls that they had crushes on. Jerry took me aside, with urgent hesitancy, while the other guys were not paying attention. I'm sorry, dude. I had to do it, Jerry said in a low voice. What do you mean, man? I asked questioningly. Look, I wanted to play the game because I couldn't take her watching me anymore, Jerry replied. I was confused and asked, Who's watching you? Luskis Lucy, man. That's who. And she'll now be with you. To get her to stop, you must cause someone else to perform the ritual, Jerry said as he grabbed his bag and started to head out. Everyone asked where he was going, but he never responded as he headed out the door. I didn't know how to react to that, but it was at that moment I could sense her behind me. I looked back over and over again, but no one was there. I could hardly sleep that night in Levi's house, because in the corner I could see Luskis Lucy's black frame watching me with her one eye. Since then, I've been stuck with a tingling feeling that she is right behind me, and I'll sometimes see her in the corner of my eye. I'm literally losing it because of her. When I try to sleep, there's a sensation that someone's in the same room as me, and on rare occasion, I'll see her face slightly, which reveals her bloody gouged eye socket. 
My body is constantly covered in small scrapes that never seem to fade away. I can't pass this ritual on to anyone else at the moment because my parents won't let me go anywhere because of the virus going around. So I have no way to pass this. That's when I got the idea to post this on Reddit because there is bound to be someone stupid enough to try this out. Well, at least I hope so.